Good afternoon everyone, this is Eric again, Northwest Bus Sales. Thank you for your time checking us out. All right, look at, look at this one right here. Check out this mini bus. This is, uh, uh, this is a very interesting paint scheme on this thing. So <laughs> anyhow, so as you can tell, blue and gold, it looks like maybe kind of a little bit of a brownish tint to it. It, uh, anyways, 2000 Ford, diamond is what this baby is this is a 22 passenger and or no it will go as high as 24 passengers or it, you can go let's see 20 passengers and two wheelchairs so you can see the wheelchair door there in the back and let's check her out inside we'll make this baby short and sweet you can see the step treads here and uh, it looks like uh, we did a little bit of repair on the step treads as you can probably tell you are going to see you know the bus's shortcomings throughout this thing so it uh but nonetheless it uh, i think it's still a decent shuttle bus and will you know it's got got some service left in her so driver's seat upholstery right here looking pretty good with an armrest as well and uh tilt will cruise control am fm radio it looks like it's got a pa system driver and passenger heat and ac equipped so also check out the mileage 160,000 miles right there on the odometer and I'm not sure where this bus came from I'd love to tell you but I just don't have a whole lot of history on this thing so check out the passenger seating right here high back it looks like double high back double seats right here anti-vandal grab handles going on the aisle sides of the seat passenger seat belts these seats got a little bit, of, I think they're like vinyl seating, so they got a nice pattern on them there. Easy cleanup would work awesome for a retirement facility, something of that nature. Uh, luggage rack right here in the back, and there's two the, uh, the, the two fold-up seats right there. And that's how you can accommodate up to the two wheelchair lifts. You can see a brown wheelchair lift right here. So you can see some uh, rust, a little bit of corrosion going on down here and up top here on the wheelchair lift so this thing has been a bit exposed to some bad weather by the looks of it and uh, the floor is a little bit spongy underneath my feet right here so you can see some of the the flooring separating there from the subfloor just trying to shoot you straight on the condition of this bus it, it definitely has you know has some has some <laughs> some shortcomings so you can see overhead uh, looks like the interior is I mean the the over the headliner up top here looking okay but as I mentioned you're gonna see some separation there in the floor seams down there where the regular the smooth floor there on the left is separating from you know there's tracking right underneath here to mount the seats and a little bit of peeling up there going on as well so uh, I think that'll do it for inside here as I mentioned, 24 passengers or a 20 passenger with uh, two wheelchair capacity. So I know the shop did a little bit of uh, step well repair in this baby. You can see that's why the step tread there doesn't match. Okay, let's walk around our outside. Check out the tire tread there. Good tire tread on it, man. Real good tire tread. Underneath the hood, it's a 6.8 liter V10. Uh, body and paint, it's going to show a fair amount of scratches and dings. Can you see that right there? Looks like somebody did replace a seam joint right there, perhaps. You can see some cracking going on right here in the paint. And tire tread here on the driver's side. Pat, pardon me, passenger side rear duals looking okay. Now let's check out the undercarriage. Look at that. Can you see that okay, I hope? Look. The frame action going on there. There's the exhaust drive line. All right. Okay, look at that. Hope you can see it okay. There we go. And I, we've got a little bit of body damage going on right there in the fender. Let's check out the wheelchair. Lift. Let's open this baby up. Okay, let's hit deploy. There it goes. Uh, Rikon, I think I might have mentioned Braun wheelchair lift earlier in the video, but it is a Rikon 800 pound capacity. You see that? It seems to be functioning properly. Look at that. Oh, yeah. As I mentioned, there is some corrosion issues on this bus. As you can tell, there's, there's another, as I pointed out, on the wheelchair lift from the inside. You can see some 
corrosion going on there as well, down low and up. All right, as you can tell, wheelchair lift functions smoothly. This would also work good for like church bus. This is gonna be a very inexpensive shuttle bus. So stainless steel wheel covers, curb lighting right there. Here's a little more fiberglass damage going on there on the rear cap on the corner there. As you can tell, rust there on the bumper. And oh, look at the spare tire underneath there. That looks like it's got a good tread on it too. Oh yeah, can you see under there okay? And let's see, uh, emergency window there in the rear. Body and paint, it's, you know, from, it, it looks all right, you know. It's not a lot of fading going on, but there is, you know, a handful of scratches and dings and chips and what have you. Tire tread here on the driver's side, look at that. You see under there okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. And also, by the looks of this being not matching the exterior paint. I think this seam was replaced as well. So I always like this kind of this little side view window right here. That's kind of diamond exclusive. I don't think I've seen that on any other shuttle buses. I think maybe Goshen you can get them on that. So don't hold me to it though. Uh, 160,000 miles on the Triton V10 6.8 liter. Man, you can't go wrong with that motor. That is a dandy. Look at the tire tread there also. Oh. Stainless steel wheel covers. I think that'll do it for this one. 2000 Ford Diamond. It's on the E450 Ford van chassis. 24 passengers or 20 passengers and two wheelchair capacity. Appreciate your time checking this out. Please go online, nwbus.com. Please call with any questions. 800-231-7099. Thanks.